Got to have a TV with Roland Linder, international race car driver. First of all, thank you so much for coming out here today and showing us this beautiful car. Tell me, first of all, about the Ferrari. Well, this is a dream coming through. You know, uh, I had a chance to race many cars in my life, but uh, this is an achievement. You know, I always dreamed to have Ferraris, had street car Ferrari, but having a racer like this and be able to enjoy it and, you know, the icing on the cake. It's a beautiful car. How much horsepower does a car like this have? Well, I think we are in the mid-600 horse, which is plenty, more than what we really need to really use it properly. So uh, I'm content. I don't need more. A car with that much horsepower has a top speed of what? Uh, I think it's 224. I think they rated for more, depending on the type of engine. But uh, we did a 205 in New Orleans last year, and we were 800 to 1,000 RPM below a maximum RPM. So that'll give us another... 15, you know, 16 more miles on top, so I would guess in the low 220. Boy, it looks like you're going faster than that today. Well, the car looks fast just standing still, you know, <laughs> so we don't need to go fast to show it fast. Just tell me a little bit about this beautiful engine back here. So this engine is a 3-liter V8 with a twin turbo. We have a huge intercooler, which is very important not to cool down the fuel coming out of the turbo. You can see there's a very big uh, cross section to uh, rigidify the rear axle suspension, which is Penske custom made for this car also. So a lot, a lot of modifications were done on this car. Let's talk about the sports car school. Well, this is a school that uh, I have the pleasure to direct, and it, I cater the school for the enthusiasts who have the chance to buy an exotic car, a very you know, expensive and uh, very powerful car, but they don't want to go racing. So I wanted to teach them the do and done so they feel comfortable when they drive the car in the canyon on the highway. We use a racetrack because it's a safe environment, it's a safety control, everybody goes in the same direction. And use this one-on-one -on -one with the student, there's no other traffic to interrupt the school. And that's, I think, in five, six hours, the student has a chance to learn his car gradually. On the beginning, speed is totally irrelevant. We just want to teach them the do and done with the car because it's very surprising how many people drive their car maybe at 35, 40% of the potential. But, you know, if we can bring them at 60, you know, 65% of the potential car, they're going to have so much more joy with that spectacular machine they bought, but also they will do it in a safer condition. That's the goal of the sport car school. Word to the wise, you buy an exotic car, you need to know how to drive it, you need to talk to this man, Roland Linder. Roland, thank you so much today. It's my pleasure. It. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Got to have a TV with Roland Linder, international race car driver. <laughs>